Good morning, everyone. It is day, it is day two at um, the Wayne Gretzky Escape Estates Escapes Estates. I am. I got ready, and I'm about to check out from this really cool hotel. It's called Queen's Landing, and it's super. I don't want to say super spooky, but it's kind of cool. It's very old school. Um, hopefully, I'll get some B-roll so you can see what it looks like, kind of just on the interior, anyways. But yeah, so we're heading over there. It's like 7.30 in the morning here, which means it's like 4.30 at home. We are gonna go uh, check out the distillery and then also kind of do a in vineyard walk. And then we're gonna have brunch and then we're gonna head back to the city. So yeah, let's go. Size them out of the skins basically out of the wine and, uh, and to do that you need a very specific type of yeast in a certain environment and a, a type of wine making and grape growing all these things have to line up to create this style of wine yeah. remember we tried the barrels and they were a bit more tropical and a bit richer this, this here is on the lean side very fresh flavors definitely into some citrus you know um, so you got the ruby grapefruit I always find is a really classic character that you get from tank fermented Sauvignon Blanc. So you think about this and then you think about marrying some of that with the barrel components of the wild ferment and all those elements where there's body and texture. And that's sort of how we, you know, in a winemaker's mind, you're, you're thinking about every tank and every vessel and it's all bouncing around in your head about how you're gonna put those pieces together, you know? And not only that, they're changing every day. So you have to keep an eye on, you know, the puts and takes in the cellars and what's working and maybe what's not quite working and how you're going to back that up so that's just a bit of a snapshot of Sauvignon of the estate series that's happening as we speak so as you can see this is quite dry um, this, so the tank components are done the barrels because they're wild and it's a different environment they tend to linger a bit more as well they're usually higher sugar um, uh, vineyards as well so we'll, we'll pick 20 to 21 bricks, um, maybe 22 for, for tank. So high natural acidity, very, very fresh. And then in the vineyard, we'll really push some of the growers to uh, to do their leaf pulling, uh, to do some thinning in the vineyard so that the yields are a lot lower, but the sugars are much higher. And they're the ones that we take into the barrel. So we, we, we tend to move the riper gear into barrel. Um, and consequently, that takes a bit longer to ferment because there's more sugar there to deplete. So. And now we're gonna go head over and we're gonna do some whiskey stuff. Um, you can see it's 
red, it has that wine character, and you'll see that when it comes off, it's just the alcohol and the flavor component. So you can check out the wine. So this spirit is finished in those Cap Rock Ice Wine bottles. 